Lab 9 asks us to find out the number of columns using the user info page. So whatever table is behind that page has a certain number of columns in it, and it wants us to figure out how many there are. We go to the user info page, and we have the same two fields we had in the previous lab. At this point, if you haven't watched the what is SQL injection video, or at least looked at the previous labs, you may want to do that now. As before, we'll go ahead and cause an error by inputting reserved characters like single quote into the field, and then that gives us the same query that we noticed in the previous lab. So using this query as a working point, we noticed that before our injection landed in the username field and the password field respectively. And at this point, we need to have some type of an injection that maintains the syntax of the query, but also tells us how many columns are in the table. So what we could do is we could use a union statement and then try to select nulls, adding or subtracting nulls till we hit the right number. And that would tell us. We can also use the order by statement, which can be a little bit easier in some cases because it's easier to script in tools like Burp Intruder. So we have to complete the query, so we were going to have to add a single quote no matter what in order to close out the one that's already there. And then we can use order by. So with order by, we can use the column name, like username, and that would work. And we can also use the ordinal position of the column in the table, like the first column is number one, and the second column number two, and so on and so forth. So if we do order by 10, then that may be too few or too many, but it'll be easy to tell based on the message that we get back. We'll also need a comment symbol to comment out the rest of the query. We don't want the part of the query that takes in the password to interfere and break the syntax. We go back over and we paste that in and then hit enter, and we ended up getting failure is an option and there's an error display down here. But the error message is not the same as before. It's not a syntax error. It says unknown column 10 in the order box calls, which tells us the number is just simply too big. So we try, say for example, five. And we hit enter, and at this point, there isn't any kind of error at all, so the query actually worked. Of course, it wasn't the right username, but that wasn't our, our task in the first place. So now we go on, we would try something between 5 and 10, say 7, and if this is too many, we'll try 6. If it's too few, we'll try 8, and so on. So we try 7, and that works. Let's try 8 and that gives us back the error. So we now know that the correct number of columns in the table is seven. That is the last number that worked before we ran back into the error again. Go back over to the lab page. So we're on lab number nine. We'll check seven is the correct answer. Hit submit and get validation. 